Hello, and welcome to a new episode of The Pharaohs of Egypt. Here we have our host, the great Djoser. And I'm Pharaoh Djoser, with our co-host, Ramses II. So we have a new episode of Pharaohs of Egypt, and it's just a big debate about which pharaoh is the best. So, we're going to be telling you their accomplishments, their failures, the monuments that were built for them, time period, and etc. Like other things as well. Mm -hmm. So, with our first pharaoh, we have Snoozred the First! Well, um. We, we told you the um, show still. Yeah, right? It is. Yeah, it's today. Um. Hi. It's. And our for our next pharaoh we have Akhenaten. Hi. And for our last pharaoh we have King Tut. I'm Tut. It's King Tut. Oh, it's getting kind of frosty. All right. Okay, cool. We need our jackets. Yeah. But anyway, for our last and final pharaoh we have Pharaoh Khufu. Hi, people. I'm Pharaoh Khufu. Okay. Let's get on with the show. Let's get on with the show. Want to know the best way to get your stains out in the wash? Well, America's leading washer brands, Maytag and Whirlpool, recommend OxyClean. And now have a dispenser for OxyClean. Because they know it's better at getting out the spills, the spots and the splatters, whether they're ground in, smeared on, or dried up, it doesn't matter. OxyClean lifts away stains detergents can leave behind. Cleaner, brighter, and whiter. That's the power of OxyClean. Now unleash two cleaning powers in one detergent. Try new Arm & Hammer Plus OxyClean. Cut off by the commercials again. I know, right? So, Let's get started. Yeah, we'll start. So we're pharaohs too, so we'll be in this debate. Okay, so Joseph, tell me a little bit about your life and what you did. Okay, well I ruled from in the old kingdom from about 2630 BC to about 2611 okay. BC. I um, increased the value of Egypt by a great amount because okay. of mining precious gems, for example, turquoise. Okay. So it's basically yeah. mining tons of precious gems, rubies, emeralds, a bunch of Mm -hmm. I also extended Egypt's um, our land from the Nile's first cataract, all from where we were, we extended it that far. I'm also considered a great military leader or commander okay. because I I um, stopped countless attackers from getting into our defenses. If you didn't know, then you can see this is my name in hieroglyphics. Yep, Joser right here. Joser. My name is Hieroglyphics. Oh, there you are, jeez. Hi, I'm Mike Pennington. I believe I was the best girl ever. I was born in 1380 BC and died in 1334 BC. Also, I ruled from 1352 BC to 1336 BC. During that time, I built the city of Ararma and made it the capital to replace Thebes, the old capital. You see, I tried to make people believe in monotheism and they cooperated very well. I created a great temple of Adam, which was a temple to worship monotheism. I am called the heretic pharaoh. Well, I can't attend. You know the second after you died, you were rejected? What? Well, yeah, you see, yes, you see. They abandoned the city of Arama and continued to believe in polytheism after you died. Also, they destroyed everything that represented monotheism, and which was an easy, easy job because you didn't have any statues. That's where I come in. Whoa, who are you? I am King Tut, um, and I restored peace to Egypt, and I ruled from 1332 B.C. to 1323 B.C. While I was king, I changed many things that my father did back to its normal. For example, I turned the capital of Egypt back to Thebes and allowed everyone to be polytheistic. Everyone was happy. Also, I was nicknamed the Boy King, because I was made king at the age of 10. Well, it looks like you forgot the age you died at. You died, at, uh, you died when you were only 18 years old. My research says that you were born very weak and needed a walking stick to get around. Everybody believes, everybody believes, everybody believes that you 
you got murdered by skull damage because when your tomb was found by archaeologists, they saw some of your skull damage. That was true. My head still hurts. But remember, when I was ruler, I still restored Egypt after my father ruined it. How dare you speak of your father like that? What the heck are you doing here? What's he mean? Anyways, my assistant here would like to introduce himself. Of course, I lived from 1303 BC to 1213 BC and was the third Egyptian pharaoh of my time. At age 14, I, I was appointed Prince Regent by my father Seti I. Also, during my early part of reign, I focused on building cities, temples, and monuments. I established the city of Pi Ramses in the Nile Delta as my new capital. I ruled for 66 years. I ruled for 66 years, and during this time, like I've said before, I built the most monuments and buildings uh, out of any other pharaoh. And I was nicknamed. And with that, I was nicknamed Ramses the Great. As you can see right here, zoom up. Ramses the Great. And my heart. Second. My heart. My heart. My hieroglyphics. Yeah. You can see. <laughs> Well, I built lots of buildings during my time of reign from 1971 BC to 1926 BC. For example, I built a 220 meter tall wall to celebrate my 30th year after all. For no reason? Just to Our celebrate? Pretty much, yeah. That was very good. Yeah, yeah. I also made an important shrine called the White Chapel. I rebuilt the temple of Re-Adam and Heliopolis. It's still turning on that. It was a very important temple. Okay. Hello? Snooze, it's gone! Oh, wow! Jesus. Well, that brings us to our next and last pharaoh. Pharaoh Bring Kufu. you Kufu! Come on out! I ruled from 2,551 to 2,528 BCE and lived from 2, 2,600 BC to 2,584 BC. I believe that I am actually the best pharaoh. One of my greatest achievements were building the pyramids of Giza and reuniting with them, Egypt once again. The pyramid of Giza is also one of my best monuments. But you know, Khufu, I feel a pyramid too. Probably considered better than yours. And you know, I couldn't find any failures from throughout my life. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's the same with everyone, Joe's or Will. Almost everyone. No one has yet to find our failures because we told our fellow Egyptians not to record or write down them. Ahem, but I made 100,000 workers help me make this pyramid. So they must all have been very dedicated in helping me. Even though they, I treated my subjects cruelly, I still built a pyramid two times the size of my father's. Unlike my father, I built one grand pyramid instead of two small ones. 